Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to part four of my DIY wide body kit. So in this episode, what we're gonna be doing is taking care of uh, some mistakes that I've got in the flares. Before we get into all of that though, I just really wanna take a second to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed um, since my last uh, few videos. Uh, I just wanted to say a big thank you for you guys sticking around and wanting to see the finished product. And also everybody that commented and said really positive things. Um, I really appreciate that because it's very motivating. So when I get really stressed out or um, I, you know, I have a hard time getting started work on the car because it's, it's very, um, just it's a huge project and it's gonna require a lot of work. Um, just seeing those comments and stuff like that makes me feel really good and uh, makes me wanna go out there and get to work or come out here and get to work. So thank you guys so much um, and I just, I really appreciate it. All right, so first few things that gotta happen on the car. So there's a couple differences. So this flare is actually wider um, than the one on that side. So over here, there's actually more width um, between these two points. It's about a half an inch right now. So the way I'm measuring that is by getting a consistent um, measuring point, which is gonna be uh, the edge of the actual fender. Now there's tape over it right now, but that's the edge of the fender right there. And then so to this point, um, I forget what it is, like two inches versus uh, two and a half on the passenger side. So I'm gonna have to alter that. The other thing I wanna alter is the line that comes across here. You can kind of see it goes up and then it drops off. I want it to be a more gradual uh, decline. So that way it continues to be smooth. Designing that part and shaping that part has been kind of a pain. Right now uh, it's kind of covering up the um, side marker light. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to hollow that out or what. I'm still kind of figuring that one out. Another thing that's gotta be fixed on this side is you can see just the, it's quite awful the shape here. The line here is very inconsistent with um, just a, a continuous shape. So yeah, so I've gotta get that fixed. Um, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill in this uh, section. Another thing that I wanna fix, this line right here. This line right here is kind of Thick, honestly, it's really thick up here. Um, and so what I want to do is I actually want to thin that out. <laughs> this side, uh, body, or the, the body filler really didn't go into this side very well. So I'm going to go back and I got to fill in all these gaps. That won't be too bad. Okay, so moving up into something that's going to be even harder, way harder than pretty much everything else, I think, is going to be continuing this trim piece here into the flare. The trim piece on the OEM flare comes out to probably about right there. Um, this point right there is where the side marker light starts. So here's the trim piece that I keep referencing. You can see how big that the cutout is for the um, side marker. So basically you come out here and it probably goes out that far. So it's right in the middle of the flare. So like I said, I have a couple options here. Well, the hardest one is gonna be this one right here. The next hardest part though, it's gonna be this piece right here. That's its OEM mounting point. So that's how far it goes into the uh, flare. So obviously I don't want it to go out that far. So what I'll probably end up doing is cutting this piece and then molding, sorry, molding the end of this piece till it goes about maybe that far into the flare. I think that'll probably give me the most OEM um, look to that line to make it one continuous line and kind of mold into the flare just a little bit. Um, I have seen that on another kit, so um, I, I kind of have an idea of what that looks like. Um, it's the kit by Industry Garage. Um, and I don't know if I've already said this, I can't remember or not. I could have bought that kit, installed it, um, you know, had it with the, the wheels and everything, um, and that could have been my video series, but two things. One, I didn't like the front piece uh, for the bumper. Two, I still would have had to modify it because I have the one in bumper on here. And three, um, <laughs> I just wanted the bragging rights to say that I designed my own kit. Um, and then, I don't know, I just, I thought it would be way cooler. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of small details to take care of. And honestly, uh, if it was gonna be easy, then it wouldn't be, <laughs> it wouldn't be a DIY project. So it's definitely not gonna be easy, um, but I'm up for the challenge. I want to continue this. Uh, I think the hardest part is still going to be making everything continuous and look the same on both sides. Um, but I have the lines that I want. I can look down 
the driver's side of the car and know that you know each each fender looks right. I can look down the passenger side. I can do the same thing. Um, so there's there's also different points I can measure from on both sides. So I'll I'll make it work. I'll get it done. But those are the challenges I'm running into. So in case you ever go, hey, I'm gonna build a wide body kit for my car like Kyle did, and uh, yeah, it'll be easy and it'll be fun. One thing is wrong about that. It's not gonna be easy, I promise you. It's gonna be a pain. Um, but if you're motivated and you're dedicated to the end result and you know exactly what you want and you can't buy a kit out there that's already done, um, then yeah, it'll be, it'll be totally worth it in the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. Um, I've gotta go to work here in a little while. Um, so I wanna get a few things done and then I'll come back and uh, still work on the car. All right, time to start measuring the flares and make sure everything is the same. Hey guys, what's going on? It's been a little while since I had last filmed um, what I was doing on the car. Um, today I've been working a lot on shaping uh, what I've got on the fenders. So I've been mainly working on this driver's side front fender, um, and what I've been trying to do is basically smooth everything down, get that gap between the fender and the actual body of the car, get that whole line really, really thin, um, and then just shave everything down, get the outer, outer edge of the fender, get that as clean as possible. And it's coming out pretty well. Uh, let me show you guys that real quick. So here's the, what I've got so far. So what I've been basically using is this line here. So if I come across, you see that little arc down there? That's what I'm trying to get one continuous motion to. Now, it's really difficult, but I've been working a whole lot and um, I'm getting making progress. Sorry about the shadow, the lighting isn't very good, but you can kind of see getting that as clean as possible. A little bit of uh, poke out from the front, as you can see. Hey Milo. So next thing I could do is I gotta lower the car and see if uh, or see where it actually sits, because that's going to determine where the actual line or the, the side of the fender exists. Because if I go this high and I stay at that point, then I've got a lot of clearance. But also, I continue that gap around, and I don't want it to be really wide here and not very wide up here, because of the lower look. Um, I want it continuous, I want it to look flush. So what I'm going to do is lower the car, figure out how close I want to get the wheel uh, to the original fender line, which is about an um, inch and a half um, right now away. So I'm probably going to drop the car an inch and a half and see what that looks like. Um, and then from there, start working my line the way it'll work is I will probably keep this the same, and then what I'll do is I'll bring, sand the edges down towards the center point. That way it's closer to the wheel here, and as it goes up, it stays close, and then goes back and it comes in towards the wheel. So that's my next goal. Hopefully all that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to work on lowering the car. Alright guys, so what I ended up doing was uh, lower the car. Now one of the things that I uh, ran into was I actually have uh, about two and a half inches of thread left on my coilovers, but it's pretty close right now. I mean, there's still a gap in there, uh, which I didn't really want, um, but it doesn't look half bad. So I'm really happy with how it looks right now, uh, but hopefully it can get lower uh, in the future. So next thing I'm gonna do is basically shape this side and mold it exactly after the um, driver's side. 
I got the driver's side really, really thin, and um, I think it looks really, really good. The shape here um, is better, the shape down here is better, it tapers in a little bit more. I got the actual fender line um, looking a lot better, a lot cleaner, um, and I got everything, I got the outer shape uh, exactly how I want it. So now I'm just going to make or this side look exactly like the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that right now. It's 38 degrees here right now and I think a week ago I was in shorts. The weather's crazy here. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, update as far as where I'm at on the car since I made the list of things that I wanted to get done in this episode. So, I've got the list here and uh, a couple things I want to mark off real quick. So, first off, I had, um, I wanted to make sure the width of the flare was consistent. And so I went around, I measured everything. I'm not gonna mark it off yet, but I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna go around and double check again. But I'm pretty sure this one is very, very close. As far as molding in the flare uh, pieces, or the, um, the trim pieces into the flares, I think I'm pretty, pretty close to that. Um, I had some extra ideas as far as what I wanted to do, the, the how I want to cut them, and then I think I'm gonna use the pieces that I cut off and stick those onto the uh, the flare, so it kind of molds right into it, kind of like the uh, the rocket bunny. Cam. So uh, the next thing I got to do is finalizing the inner edge of the fender. Now I did that on the fronts when I lowered the car, so I could kind of see where I needed to go to. Uh, actually, for what it's worth, the passenger side isn't completed yet. I've got to go back and do that um, and finalize it. But as far as the rears go. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to jack up the rear of the car and I'm gonna have to take, um, it's separated, so I've got the, the shock um, and then the spring are separate. So the spring, I've gotta undo the, uh, the suspension in the rear and I've gotta take the spring out and take the spring perch and I've got to um, basically uh, lower that down as far as I can go and see where I'm gonna sit. That way I can know what, um, where my tire is going to be and so that way I know where my fender line needs to be. So that's what I'm going to be working on now. As far as other stuff on here, um, like fixing the passenger side corner light area, um, I actually took care of that already, so that piece is marked off. Um, continue the indent from the door. Um, I did that on the front two fenders, so I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. Um, make the side grill section thinner. So, uh, the driver's side is done, the passenger side has got to get taken care of. So I'm going to put a check mark next to that and then I'll mark it off when I fix the other side. Um, and then cut the body line into the flares. That'll probably be the last thing that I do in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on fixing the ride height in the rear so that way I can fix the inner line of the fenders. And then from there, um, I'm pretty pretty close to completing this list. I'm actually really happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on lowering the rear of the car. Let's go. So uh, just a quick little update as far as where I'm at. Um, I did a couple things off camera. Um, basically, I finalized those inner fender lines. So I can actually go over to my board. I can, on my board right here, boom, I can mark off finalize inner edge of fender. Boom, okay, so that's marked off. So next thing is, Fix the passenger light um, with the flares consistent. They're as consistent as they're going to be. Boom. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So that's marked off. Um, Finalize the inner edge of the fender, uh, passenger side, corner light area, uh, continue indent from the door. I did that. Boom. 
Um, let's see here, make side grills, section thinner, I did that. Uh, cut body line into fenders, that's, uh, I gotta do that next. The mold um, in trim pieces, that's gonna have to happen uh, a little bit later. Let me show you kind of where it's at right now. So, if you look, um, this is your trim piece right here. So it goes across. Um, what, I, what I tried to do is I took a uh, foam block sander that I had um, and I started to pull across here. And it's, it's gonna work, but um, plants have kind of changed. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but I will do that in the future. So uh, that's not gonna happen right away. So I'm gonna put this one on hold. So next thing I've got to do is cut the body line into flares. Now, the way I'm going to do this, so if you see right here, I've got my body line from the bumper has got to go all the way across here. Now, if you look, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but basically uh, the bumper, I can see where it connects to the fender. So that would be extremely hard to do on uh, just by eye. So what I've got, I was doing some testing over in the back, uh, but this is a laser level and uh, it's not flat right now because I was messing with it, but I'm gonna flatten it out and I'm gonna put it um, on the level up there so it's gonna be straight across. All right guys, so uh, update as far as where I'm at right now. Um, a little time has gone by since I uh, started marking the lines. I haven't marked the lines for the rear, and the reason is I went ahead and uh, went to the store and got some more foam. Um, foam is ruling my life now. But anyways, so let me show you what I did um, because it's going to make the rear, uh, the the rear passenger flare make sense now. So let me show you what I did. Okay, so here's what I've got so far. Ignore all of this right here, all of that. Okay, so over here, what I did is I added um, a lot more foam. So basically it's touching the car now. Um, so what I can do is I can sand that down and basically it's the right, um, right amount there um, that I can actually go back and um, sand it down and make it flow. Um, all the little extra foam pieces in here, the where it, it's bubbly, that's because I took the can and I actually um, filled in some gaps that I had. And so what I can do is I can actually go back and I can fill in, um, I'm sorry, I can sand and um, have a lot less holes. The next big thing that I did, I added another diffuser here. Um, so you can see this diffuser is designed just for the one end bumper that I have on here. Um, so what I did was I um, took this sheet right here, that green sheet, let me show you. It's, uh, it's an insulation board. And I took that and I'm using it as a template. Here's the other template I have. This garage is a mess. So here's the other template I have. It's actually um, just gonna be for like a an actual uh, diffuser that's actually gonna work and create downforce. Um, so that's my template for that. But this piece right here is gonna be a template for something like a carbon fiber lip. Um, that I can put on here and so there's enough foam there that I can shave this down and uh, basically have this uh, nice angle, this nice slope. Uh, kind of like you would see on a um, on a normal 1M bumper, a normal uh, front diffuser, splitter, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go ahead and cut the front fenders, um, just cross that line. I'll show you the tool that I'm going to use. So here's the tool I'm going to use. Um, let's see if we'll focus on it. There you go. It's got a serrated blade edge um, there. It's got a nice little handle on it. So what I'll do is I'll take that and I'll basically just cut inside. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this video. Um, I pretty much accomplished all my goals. Here, check this out. We have with the flare consistent. Got that. Uh, mold and trim pieces, I told you guys we we're gonna hold on that one. Uh, finalize the inner edge of the fender, did that. Fix a passenger side corner light. Continue the indent from the door, did that. Make the side grill section a little bit thinner, did that. And then cut the body line into the flares. I don't know how to, how to. Boom, okay, it's crossed off, good. Okay, so that is done. 
Cool, so like I said, goals are taken care of. Um, I've accomplished everything I wanted to in this video, so now I can end it and I can start on episode five. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you in the next video. Have an awesome day.